Can you share your journey with us? I have had vitiligo for a long time, since fourth grade. Mine's developed very young, so my journey is completely opposite from him. It's mm. actually shaped everything about my personality, like me as a person, and how I view the world, mm. like wholeheartedly. Um, it's not something that you can just swallow because the world can be cruel sometimes. Yeah. So even though, like for example him, he had a lot of friends. Um, I have friends, definitely, I had a lot of friends, but as you start changing, like you're not born this way. So people are conflicted or confused when you start changing. They're like, what's going on? Or, you know, like they don't understand it. And a lot of times people are not educated about the LIGO. Mm-hmm. So because they lack the education, they judge or they criticize or they make fun. So my journey was completely different. So I don't look at the world physically. I look at the world from a spirit or a heart Inside point of view. Out. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Because you can't just take what you see in front of you. It's like a book. Right. You may look at a book like this looks boring. If that's the case, you'll never read a book. But right. once you open it in the pages and you explore it, it's completely different than what it looks like on the outside. And how has it affected your life <laughs> and just your experiences in life? Um, and your confidence, especially. You definitely, well, me personally, I had to learn to love myself. Mm. Like, and love yourself. How does one do that? Yourself. I hear people always say, love yourself, but what, what was your process? You go through rejection. Okay. You go through people making fun of you. You go through the being the absolute butt of the joke or you walking into a room and people obviously noticing you. And so your look will command the room before your presence because they don't understand. You don't, it's not a lot of people in the room that look like you. So when you get in the room, it's like, okay, depending on if you're educated on it or not, mm-hmm. you're gonna either you know interact with the person. But if you don't know what vitiligo is, you're gonna obviously have a side conversation with someone. Sometimes people will like assume you have all makeup, like, do you have all makeup or, but it's like, no, I have a skin condition. And I hate to when people use the word disease, mm. like, oh, you have that skin disease or <laughs> it's right, like, it's exactly. definitely like an eye roll. Like, but, no. Well, yeah, because you are confident, but I'm very how confident. did you develop that confidence with all of the things you just said, with people make, you know, having their own opinions, with people thinking it's a, it's a bad thing, with people having all these things, how were you able to, you know, take that on and go, you know what, I'm beautiful, I'm strong and, and move forward in life? Because you eventually grow thick skin, like he said. Mm -hmm. You get accustomed to the things that people say because nothing is new under the sun. So you kind of expect people to have something to say. And for me, I just remember, I used to do a lot of visiting dermatologists when I was a kid. My mom would take me to dermatologists to see like what it is that we can do to aid it or help. And I remember going to this one dermatologist. I had to be like 10. And you would go different places and they would give us like different creams and stuff to like trial creams to try out. And I remember a doctor saying, this isn't something that we have a cure for yet. And we don't know if we'll ever have a cure for it. Mm -hmm. The best thing you can do for her is nurture her and love Mm -hmm. her. How did that feel with your mom taking you to different dermatologist about what you guys knew what the disease was. I'm really curious. We really didn't know what it was. Okay. So with us going to the dermatologist and everyone having the same thing to say about it, because at the time when we would go to the doctors, they would say like, okay, well, this is what Michael Jackson has. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people would say, this is what Michael Jackson has, but the world never believed that Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson had the LIGO. However, when we would go different places, the I don't even know how to explain it to you, like the feeling you get when you're walking into these different doctor's office and they're telling you all the same things, like over and over, over and over, like there's no cure for it. There's no cure for it. We can help you treat it. We can help you treat it. But I think for her, she didn't, my mother wasn't like, I don't know if I'm answering the question right. 
What was my question again? Because I'm getting off topic. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, you, you, you have, as, a, as an adult, de developed, uh, like you said, a thick skin. Yes. But I think it also has become maturity. And this is who you are. I am. And you love it. I do. And, and we love it. Right. And, right, we love it. Right. <laughs> and that's it. You know what right. I'm saying? And I think that's amazing. And share See, with me, how, yeah, how do you do the same thing? Your level of confidence. Um, it really just came from me just being me. Like, I didn't want to change nothing. Like, my mom was, like I said, go back to my mom, she's mm -hmm. the only one to have it. So I feel like it was crazy because now she's the only one to have it. Now I'm the second one to have it in my family. So I embraced it all for her mm. pretty much. And um, I did go to a skin doctor. My mom did actually take me to some and they did have cream that worked. There was some markings on my faces that was mm -hmm. worse than this but it went away and never came back. Mm. But I told my mom, like, I don't care. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather just be like you. And you know, oh, make her, make so her have sweet. confidence. Sweet. Yeah. So that's CJ, so, sweet. so you mentioned your mom. Mm -hmm. So clearly she had a connection and seeing her and how she was able to handle the situation. What, how was she able to handle it? Um, I never even asked her about it. She just said like hers came out of nowhere. The doctors, okay. uh, the skin doctors told her that she wasn't going to be able to get her skin color back. And my mom, she's like completely white now. And how's her confidence? Oh, she, she's better now because she, she tried to stop mine. She, like, she was like, okay, we don't want you to have your video like So she was like, okay, let me go through the treatments. Let's, let's, let's go, uh, go to the skin doctor. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm pretty much cool. Like, nah, I like it. Like, it makes me better. So, you when like she, being different. I, I like do. that. But I see, I it. like that. I, I mean, it. I really am so curious about your, your journey to be so confident. Just like, hey, this is me. Yeah. And maybe it was because your mother had it yeah. and you grew up mm -hmm. with someone who loved herself that made you love yourself growing up as well. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's beautiful. Yeah. I can relate to that um, because I lived in a household of obesity and dealing with a family that looked like me, when I went outside and everyone would like say that I looked different and they would talk about me and mm -hmm. pick on me, I'm like, why are they picking on me? Because everyone in my family looked like me, so I could totally relate. And what you're saying that what the outside world saw was different from what you dealt with at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. at home, it was love and it was light and it was peace, where outside it might have been chaotic. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, um, what does loving your skin mean to you right now? For somebody who's watching who might be like, man, how am I able to deal with this? You wanna go first? I think that for me, that means accepting yourself wholeheartedly. Like you have to love what you see in the mirror. I never wear makeup like as far as concealer. Mm -hmm. And I'm not against people that wear it because everyone's journey is different. Right. But I am at a space in life where I feel like what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest thing to, number one, you gotta wake up extra early in the morning to put on all this makeup. And that's just too much for me. Like, right. but the most like terrible part about that is you go into the world being this person you're not. And mm. people accept you with this makeup on. But when you go home at night and you wipe that makeup off, you still have to look at you and know that this is not truly who I am in my yeah. skin. I can't be happy without this makeup in the world. And I don't think that's fair. So if I, when, even when I speak to people with vitiligo and I talk to them, I let them know like, you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. yes. God doesn't make mistakes. There's no mistakes in this world, in this world at all. Like, it's just an energy thing. So no matter how you feel, whether you feel ugly, unloved, like, Look in the mirror and tell yourself, you are somebody. You mean something to somebody. There yes. is somebody in the world that is looking for you. It, exactly. So stop trying to please the world and just respect and love yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. And, and what do you really feel? <laughs> what do you feel is like one of the most common things that people get wrong about having vitiligo? I think that people always think like you want to change it. Hmm. So I always get like people um, that reach out to me with um, treatments or counseling. They mm -hmm. think like, oh, you must be going through a hard time. 
you know, because you look different. You mm. look different from the world, but it's like, absolutely not. That's great. I wake up in the morning and I smile. I thank God for my blessings and I take care of life and I keep going. Like there is no break or no pause. You just keep going and you smile and you don't hesitate to do what your heart takes you on a journey to do. Exactly, girl. That's right. <laughs> and for you, what do you think people get wrong? Um, people are always like, yeah, did you get burned? I'm like, no, yeah. that's, that's not time. it. <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, 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 how, like, how are you so confident? I'm like, me just being me, like, I can't let nobody else judge me. Like, I'm God creation. It, it's, it's either way, whatever way he made me, with my skin color or without. So I feel like nothing, nothing's gonna change. <laughs> Seriously, that's right. Yeah. that's right. So M, I see that you are pro for the Lago. So I how am. is your dating life? <laughs> My dating life is awesome, actually. I can tell hey. your confidence hey. is like <laughs> off the chain. I don't have any problems um, dating at all or okay. people. And trying to holler, is what they say. Yeah, like, trying, to, you. trying to mm -hmm. talk to me. Like, I don't have any problems with that. I think that um, when you are uncomfortable with you, you exude that, yeah. and people yes. can tell. And sometimes you, you have do. people that pry on that. But I never feel like I'm different. I sometimes forget I have vitiligo. Right. I, it's crazy, I really do. Because you're just out there living life and living your best right. life. Right, and so even sometimes I'm with friends and we may go somewhere where someone maybe never seen vitiligo or never heard of it, mm -hmm. and they may come up to us asking questions mm -hmm. or they stare. That's a big thing, yeah. having mm -hmm. vitiligo, people stare. How do you deal with that? I smile, I start conversation, and I educate people there because that's the only way that the message is gonna get into the world is right. by taking your time and educating every person that doesn't know about it. Exactly. So, I don't, you know, some people get offended by stares. I welcome the stares mm -hmm. and I challenge them because it's like, you must not know about it like us. Right. Let me open the door for you so you can go spread some knowledge somewhere else. Yes. So what's your name, what's your question? Hi, my name is Lori. Hi, Lori. Um, Hi, Lori. Regarding this particular condition, I've noticed when I turn in the fashion magazines now mm -hmm. that there are a lot of models um, mm -hmm. with your condition. And I turned the page, and when I first started seeing that few, I was like, wow, oh, okay, you know. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about um, the world, I guess, or that happening now in the country where the models are going forth with that condition? I think it's an awesome thing because, like I said, it's all about awareness. It's all about getting people to or not even just people, particularly people that are different to feel comfortable with who they are right. mm -hmm. and the skin that they're in and loving themselves. So the fact that you can open a magazine and see someone that looks like Winnie Harlow, yes. you know what, and I have a pair of her shoes. She got a great collection with yes. Steve Madden right now that is amazing. <laughs> exactly. I love her. Exactly. And I think that is a great role model. It's, we need more of those. We need a lot of role models to spread the message that you can be who you want to be right. unapologetically, and that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely. <laughs> CJ, what about your day in life? Oh, yeah, you thought we were going to skip you, brother, didn't it's you? Very, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's good. I can't complain, it's man. It's good. Yeah, well, it's good. Everywhere, it's good. I, everywhere it's good. I go, people are like, oh, can I, can I touch your skin? Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Come on. Like, it's, it's fine. Have you slide in your DMs? All the time. <laughs> Every time I post something, it's be, I'll be like, what are y'all doing? Like, wow. Why are y'all all in the paint box? Yes. But mm -hmm. hey, but it's it's cool. I love it. Hey, I love it. <laughs> hey, that's what's great. That's what's great. So what would you tell those who are battling with their own self confidence? Like, what are your steps? What are your tips that you would share? Um, I had I had a boy uh, mother reach me from London, oh, and wow. she was like, "Well, like you know, what should I do for my son? Like his, her son got down like video like on his face, and he wanted to put makeup on. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's crazy because as a, I'm like, I see him as a kid, but right. then I'm like, what can I tell you that's gonna make you change? Like I don't want you to change, like mm -hmm. you, you know. But his mom's very persistent, and I was like. You know, he just got to be himself. He got to, you know, be around positive people. Right. And make sure mm -hmm. that he stay, you know, uh, 
uh, like a cool common chill when people ask questions mm -hmm. or anything. Do you guys mentor other people? I hear you say that you're talking to this little boy that's reached out to you. Is that something that's like a passion to you know mentor Definitely. people who have the disease? Yes. Or it's condition? Thank mm -hmm. you. Because <laughs> it is it's something, you know, it's, I, it's, people say it so yeah, much. Because it's the world is trained to believe. Right. Yeah. I think that when people use that word disease, um, you automatically assume sick, mm -hmm. like right. something's wrong. So I try not to use the, the disease word, but um, yeah, like, I forgot the question again. No, I was just asking, do you mentor other people? <laughs> oh, I do, yeah. I do. I love speaking to people, and there is something called World Vitiligo Day that I go to. What is and that? It's, um, every year it's somewhere different. So okay. last year it was in Texas. Well, and is there a year. certain date or date? Yes, so they do it like around the time frame of Michael Jackson's either his birth or his death. Okay. I can't really remember. I believe his birthday is in August, and then his death is in June. Oh, so okay. every year in June, in a different state, you meet, uh, it, it's uh, countless, like okay. so many people all over the world right. come to this convention to meet other people with vitiligo. Mm -hmm. and.